Hi, my name is John Butterley with Ziegler Caterpillar. Uh, we're here at Farm Fest today for the, uh, three days. Today is Wednesday. We'll be here today to, tomorrow as well. So I'd like to go over the Lexian Combine and the Cornhead here today. Um, we'll start off here with the Cornhead. We've got a full range of Cornheads, be it uh, the Class Cornheads or Geringhoff. We go all sizes from 6 row all the way up to 18 row Cornheads. So this one we have right here is the 12 row 30 non chop So you can see some of the nice features we have are um, poly front idlers with the de with the chains, fluted de deck plates, and also then we've got the gearboxes on each side so we can speed up and slow down with the variable speed on the combine on the fly. As we're going to move around here, you'll see some other options. One being the whiskers, so we do not need GPS to steer the machine. We can use this whiskers right here. So as we're going through the field, we'll actually use the corn to go along. So we don't need to use GPS on there. We've got the full auto contour, so we can go left and right on the fly as we're going down the field. So it really allows us to get maximum throughput and capacity on the machine. So if you want to follow me around this way, we're going to start up on the combine. So the combine we have, the combine we have today is the Lexian 740. It's the Class 7 machine. It is going to be um, the APS hybrid unit. So we're combining two systems together to make a unique thrashing and separation uh, system that's the only one of its kind on the market. At the front here, we're going to have the APS thrashing where 100% of the thrashing is going to be done. And then at the rear of the machine, it's going to be the separation. So 70% of your crop is going to be or out of the crop mat, which is thrashed here. Final 30% done here at the rear. So if we take a little closer detail on how we get the crop to the APS hybrid system, we're going to start here with our feeder house. One thing which we were the industry leader on was a hydraulic top link. We were able to adjust the uh, feeder house throat with the, be it a corn head or a soybean head so we can adjust the angle as we're going through the field. When we have the tough down uh, corn or if we've got uh, matted up soybeans, we're able to adjust the header to adjust the pitch of the cutting angle so we can get down and actually get the crop, save it and put it in the combine. A couple new features here, hydraulic tension feeder house chain. We got the new cruise pilot. With the cruise pilot, it works with the um, engine load of the combine, crop mat going into the machine the forward speed and also then the engine load so it works all together to determine the speed as you go through the field. The fact that we take the losses into account as well we're going to maximize the throughput and capacity of this machine so if we get to that drowned out spot the combine is going to speed up we get back in the good yielding crop it's going to slow the combine down fully automatically with the machine as we're going through the field. So if we continue here on here on the side of the machine Right here you're going to see the cast steel variators and they take the power from the other side of the machine to this side and this is where you speed up and slow down your thrashing system independently of your separation system on the other side. So we can see right here at this point of the machine we're going to have all the thrashing done and then the remainder of the machine is going to be all the separation. We've got the unique uh, jet stream cleaning system which is one of the largest in the industry we can get more grain into the grain tank clean with no uh, FM, so then that way you can maximize your uh, throughput and capacity without putting the grain out the back. One of the biggest selling features of the Lexian Combine is the fuel efficiency, grain saving, and the amount of time it takes to harvest an acre. We're one of, we are the leader in the, in the industry today of getting the most um, capacity of the machine through and getting the mo more, most effectiveness of your harvest to get the grain into the grain tank. A couple other nice features here, we've got the quantimeter. So the quantimeter can be coupled with a John Deere system through Ag Agri GPS, Tremble or Ag Leader. So you can have on, on the fly uh, all your yield uh, collection and then also then do all your GPS steering and all your automation as you would uh, currently with your current machine. Uh, 3D Civ, that has been something that we've had on the market since the 80s. It'll allow us up to a 20% slope on an incline, so that way we're going to be able to, again, keep the grain in the combine so it goes into the grain tank. If we come back here to the rear axle, we're going to see the new class four-wheel drive rear axle. Again, one of the newest things in the industry. It is a front-wheel assist design, <clears throat> so we've got a hydraulic motor in the center with bar axles out to the outside that actually can allow us to engage and disengage the four-wheel drive uh, axle on the fly as we're going through the field. 
Um, again, saving money, saving time, and trying to get the most efficiency of the machine going through the field. One thing you're also going to notice on the combine is it's all belt driven. The reason for that is it's the most efficient way to get power to where we need it, bar none on the, on the market today. So you'll see the variators are independent to the one at the front, so these ones are for the separation, which is for that final 30% I talked about earlier, to get all the grain out of the machine. Okay? If we follow back here, we've got the new residue management system. So with the residue management, you'll see here we got our chaff blowers stroke chaff spreaders. So they're going to actually take the chaff and spread it out independent on the rear. With the new system, we're actually going to take the chaff and blow it in, mix it in with the residue, so then all the straw and chaff is going to mix together and then be spread uniformly out the back of the machine. We can adjust, we can go up to uh, 45 foot with this, so it gives us a real uh, good um, uh, distribution of the residue as we're going through the field. Our trusty ladder here, we can take this off and use it for all the different maintenance around the machine. And you can see here there's bars the whole way around the machine, so when you need to get in there to do the maintenance, be it cold or snowy, you have a good firm way to get up there and do your maintenance on the machine. We're going to swing around the other side of the combine now. So on this side of the combine, we're going to look here, we're going to see the additional diesel fuel tank. So we get up to 304 gallons of fuel. And like I said, we're using about 1 to 1.3 gallons an acre. Um, we'll see up on top, we got the dynamic cooling with the side louvers. So it's going to suck all the clean air from up the top down through the radiators, which are now level on top of the combine. That way we're going to be better on, um, we don't have to use as many air filters through the year and even on a windy day like we have today, that's where it's going to keep that residue down and away from the back of the combine, keeping the combine clean so we don't have any issues you know, with downtime due to maintenance. If you follow me along here, another new feature that we have on here is the new heavy duty feeder house drive which is right here. We got 260 horsepower up at the front PTO there. So when I talked earlier on about those 18 row corn heads or 12 row chopping corn heads, we've got ample horsepower going to the front there to drive these bigger headers. We'll see up here, we got a roller chain for unloading. So one of the first in the industries, again, we don't have to grease it, we don't have to lube it. We simply have the O-ring chain there to get 3.8 bushels a second unloading out our 29.2 foot unloading order. One other thing to your attention here is the terror track. Again, industry leading. We've got 25 mile an hour road speed on our class seven and eight model machines, 19 mile an hour on class nine and class 10. Gives us um, unparalleled comfort through the field. The front idler can go up and down, center two can go up and down and oscillate, and then the rear one can go up and down, then all independent of each other. Also, real nice feature is it gives us easy access then to the side of the machine, uh, you know, for doing daily maintenance or inspections. So if you'd like to follow me up into the cab, we'll go jump up there quick. The final but best part of the combine is up here in the operator station. So you'll see here we've got lots of easy, uh, lots of good visibility of the machine. You'll see here we've got the different uh, sun lines, you know, for those days where the sun's coming in at the correct, incorrect angles. Everything in here is done with the CBIS monitor. That's where we adjust the entire combine for the speed, for all the different speeds through the machine, and how we set for different crop of settings. Joystick here, simple header up and down. Our auto steer button, one thing I didn't mention yet, is our CMOS automatic. With the CMOS automatic, you can fully have the entire machine automatically adjust and set itself as we're going through the field too. Again, getting more uh, throughput and optimization of the machine day to day. All, like I said, all your different settings are done here on your CBIS. Leather seat, leather butter se body seat. We got an actual fridge in here underneath, which is pretty nice. Leather steering wheel, and then all your LED lights then around the machine too. So thank you very much for your time today. I uh, hope you enjoyed our walk around here of the Lexian Combine. Um, talk to your local Ziegler dealer, and we'll uh, hopefully get one out to the field here soon. Take care and thank you.